Hi. Yo, Manime TV here with the Manime TV crew at Comic Con right now. It doesn't look like Comic Con yet, but we'll be there in a little bit. We gotta make our journey there first. Stay beautiful. Bang, bang. It's a video. Oh. 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 Yeah. I think that's the bad suit. Jay! Jay! Oh! How's it going guys? Made my TV here at Comic Con 2015, Emerald City. Uh What's up everybody? Just walking around, enjoying the vendors and such. If you're in here, next year you can probably see us. Come say hi, right? Do C C C C C Second expansion, second expansion, Cards Against Humanity. You know you like it, Jerry, on the anime offensive show. Make sure you guys be there next week, Soccer Card 2015. You like it dirty, just like your mother. That takes a little bit to dry. Thank you. Thank you. Sound bees. Sound bees. Sound bees. The sound bees have invaded. You <laughs> gotta switch. The sound bees have invaded. Yeah. No, the sound bees, trust me. The sound bees. Aliens. Alright, Tun Bacon here, wrapping it up for day one of Comic Con 2015. Just walked out of the Sign at Happiness panel. Got to Got to meet my idol, Steve Bloom. All these guys here, pretty much tired. We're gonna go get some ramen. Tired? Hungry. Hungry. So, hungry. 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 We out. Bro, so we popped our uh, our Comic Con cherries today. Yeah, definitely. Dude, we definitely did. Dude, how'd you feel about it? Uh, I mean, it was cool. It was a very cool experience. Amazing cosplays, amazing art, ama amazing merchandise. It was just amazing. To, I used amazing a lot, but <laughs> it was just really cool to just walk around and take in the atmosphere. Like, there's really a lot going on, and you could really just have fun by just walking around and seeing everybody and just enjoying themselves. Like, it was really cool. Like, pop culture at its finest. That's where you got to be. And I'm juiced because Soccer Con is next weekend. So that's crazy to me. I guess I want you to talk about, like, like your highlights for today and uh, you know what you thought because you're only going today right no I mean it's, it's kind of hard to like highlight everything that's gone on in the day because I really enjoyed everything like literally when I say the atmosphere of just 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 walking around and taking it all in that's like li li literally what I was doing and that was just amazing alone I'll have to say this I don't know if we're gonna do a plug-in for somebody but I'm a big fan of this cosplayer uh, her name is Amethyst she goes or aka girl with the red hair if you haven't seen her cosplay, are, are we plugging people? All right, yeah. Yeah, she's amazing. Like, uh, I'm a big Legend of Korra fan, or Avatar fan in general. And uh, she does these um, awesome, like, spawn-on Le Legend of Korra cosplays. So uh, that's how I found her on IG. And then I just realized, like, it's not just that. She can cosplay anything. And we got to meet her today. And she was cosplaying as a fem female version of Delson, which is dope because we live in Seattle. But that was my highlight, that. It was just getting to meet her. 
Um, specifically, uh, I really want to talk about one of the highlights. <laughs> one highlight of my day was when I actually went to the Steve Bloom panel. Um, when I went to Jace, when I went with Jason to that panel, I actually didn't know who I was really expecting. I didn't realize how big of an impact this guy had on Jason's life. And uh, Steve Bloom never realized that he was actually the world record holder of um, so many voice acting uh, shows, video games. And I didn't realize that he voiced many, like, um, he, had, he had many parts in shows that I've actually watched. I just never knew. And uh, hearing his voice, actually just talking to the crowd, just made me realize, like, oh, man. This guy's like this guy has really does have a golden voice and he really did have a talent and he told the story to everybody how how he got the role by accident and it just shows it just shows to you like how how talented and how like how golden his voice is and I'm just like really really honored to be in this panel and I was really glad to go with Jason at that one. Same. <laughs> Yo, Tim Bacon here with the crew. Whoa, yeah. just me and a big Kevin. And we're here with day two of Comic Con 2015, waiting on the best panel ever. I like these guys from Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> so this is Jordan. She's LSP. <laughs> And yeah. uh, feel free to uh, request lines from each other. Yeah, that, uh, that would help. Mm -hmm. Do you have a line for me? Uh, I have a whole list of lines for you. <laughs> <laughs> you do? I have my cheat sheet. Oh, that's oh, so smart. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that, those are terrible. Wait a minute. Can, this this can I get an Amon? <laughs> I'm the Avatar, you're going to have to deal with it. Right? I mean, that's, that's, that's a good one. I'm the Avatar, you're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> I'm the Avatar, you got to deal with it! You need to punch me somewhere so the voice goes out. So. Yeah. So it was 8 Kevin. Pretty much party out, and so now we're gonna call it a day. And it's not the end of the day yet for Comic Con because like, it's still a Sunday, but for us, that's pretty much it. So let's go home, get some meat, take a nap. Um, I'm really, I'm really, I'm somewhat sad that it's over now because, well, you know, you wait a whole year for something and then it's already done. It's funny how two days always goes by so quickly, and then a whole year is so slow and so quick. Uh, the convention itself was really fun because uh, day one, I felt like we just went all out. It was fun um, following 8-Vit Kevin around, uh, getting his autograph signed, uh, getting his comics signed uh, by the creators. Because that's usually the way I am when it comes to autographs. You know, when you saw something and there's something you love, you try to find and meet the person that created it. Which is why I was really excited to meet Steve Bloom, who's the voice actor of Cowboy Bebop, uh, Spike, um, the dub actor. And I never thought in a million years I'd get to actually talk to him um, and get him to say a line, including me in it. And it was so, it was awesome. Um, it was, so this, this was my first Comic-Con and uh, 
So pretty much I got my cherry popped, uh, like Justin did, or JP23. And um, <laughs> uh, it, it was a, definitely a wild experience. Uh, I got a lot of my uh, comic sign, which was really dope, uh, seeing the, the artists for my uh, comic books. And um, it was just a, an amazing experience in general. I, I think for my first Comic-Con, it was just a lot to take in. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, it, it was cool. It, it was really cool. Like, I think I would definitely go again. Definitely um, for this kind of convention, I think depending on who you want to see and what you want to do, one day is possibly even enough for you. Um, I think the first day, like, we did everything that we needed really to do. And then today was just to catch up, like, what we wanted, what we couldn't get to. And um, I don't know. It was, it was really dope. I I definitely came in a bit unprepared. Um, but I think I'll be ready next time. And uh, it, it, it was really cool just meeting all these different people. And, but yeah, it, it was a dope experience spending with my, my, my buddies. So um, excited for SakuraCon next week. Um, hope to see you guys there and um, yeah